ways in which narcissists cross boundaries. So we know that when you are in a relationship or have a toxic person in your life, one thing that they do not tolerate or allow you to have is boundaries of your own. They do not allow for you to have any space of your own, any say of your own, or any boundary, any terms, anything that is yours in which you will, you know, not let anyone cross. They will push into it. You try to, you know, draw a line in the sand with a narcissist, they're going to step on the other side of it. They're going to push right through it. They're going to blow that sand away and say, I'm sorry, what line? One thing that I've seen is when uh, a narcissist has a line, like say, um, I'll just make up, I'll make up an example of if you're co-parenting or have shared property or, or work together and there's terms, right? There's terms that are determined about the relationship. So it could, let's say it's a co-parenting contract or a business agreement or something like that. They will push every line into your space in that agreement. They will try to get more time with the children through pushing their way into your time. Or in a business situation, they might take over something that was something you were responsible for and um, you know, push right through any boundary you had in place to protect who does what. It doesn't matter what it is. Those are just clear examples. They will push through your boundaries. Your boundaries. They do not like to be told what to do, and they do not like to not be in charge of everything and control the whole situation. So. Another thing that happens is them, the narcissistic person, insisting, okay, that you do things their way, right? And that there is no, you have no say. So you might set a boundary to, you know, with a narcissistic parent, say, where you're not going to talk to them on the phone more than 10 minutes because, not because you want to be mean to anyone or don't want to share time with someone or it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that they're toxic and you're giving them as much time as you possibly can without losing your mind. So, so say you said, you say to yourself, okay, the boundary is 10 minutes and you let them know, Hey, I only have 10 minutes to talk. They're going to use the entire time to talk about guilt trip you, give you some kind of flack for setting that boundary. And then they're going to push into the net. Well, all we've done is, is talk about this, you know, this thing that you're, uh, you're insisting on doing push, push, push. And then they'll keep talking through the 10 minute boundary moment and keep going and keep going. This is systematic and it's done on purpose to control the situation. It's done on purpose to make sure you're giving them attention. It's not uh, a heated conversation or an exciting conversation that went longer. That totally happens. But with a narcissistic parent or a narcissistic person, it is a deliberate attempt to steal your time. Or if it's something that doesn't serve the narcissist, they can't see why you should set the boundary because it's actually just interfering with their life and their, they have to then deal with it, but they don't have to deal with it if they would just let you set the boundary. Okay. Here's one thing that a narcissist will do. They will push and push and push and push and steamroller right through your boundaries to the point where you give up and you say, fine. And you just, you, you just become almost numb while it's happening. Uh, there's an example I have of a narcissistic parenting situation where the, it's a narcissistic father in this case is insists on interfering with parenting time that isn't his. And he will do so using words like you're alienating me. How am I alienating you? How is she alienating you, man? It's not your time, right? It's her time. You're, it's, you don't do what's best for the child. If you did what was best for the child, then so basically guilt tripping and guilt tripping, but there's a continual push. Oh, this is a school event. I'm allowed to be here. Okay, sure. Well, this isn't really school. This is extracurricular. Wait a minute. Confusing things, right? So gaslighting you, twisting words, twisting the truth, twisting reality until that person is enmeshed in a situation that they don't belong in and they have just completely obliterated your boundaries with them. They are for yourself. They're, it's not a battle with a toxic person. It's not a battle with any person to set a boundary. It is what you need for your life and your requirements. And, you know, it's not, it, 
the problem is narcissistic people make it a battle and they make it they make it something to push against and so it feels like you're constantly fighting for your boundaries if you just relax and realize that boundaries for you and hold to them as much as you can there you go um it's the same goes for gray rocking gray rocking is a form of boundary placing it is saying i will not engage in your nonsense i will not engage in your toxic treatment of me i will not engage in your childish behavior or your gaslighting I just won't engage. It is a form, if you look at gray rocking as a form of boundary setting, then it feels a lot less difficult to do. You don't feel as mean. You don't feel as scared. Whatever it is you feel, people feel all different things. Um, and I'm just relaying some of the things people have said they feel with gray rocking. So if you look at it like a boundary, it's good for you, it's good for the relationship, and it's good for the situation. Whether it's good for the narcissist or not, who cares? And here's the thing with narcissism boundaries, they're going to say ridiculous things if they know you're placing a boundary. So don't tell them, this is my boundary. This is the line. Don't cross it. Oh, that's just, a, a, that's an invitation to a narcissist to cross the line. That is setting up a situation for you that they will then say the most ludicrous things and call them their boundaries. They'll scream in your face. I've heard this one. Okay. Toxic person talking to a not toxic person, blah, 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 screaming in the person's face, spit flying, like just screaming at this person and the other person, total deadpan gray rock, boom, separate the person in front of a child, right? And the person says, that is never happening again. You will not do that to me in front of the child, inappropriate, blah, blah, blah. The narcissist says, I was just setting my boundaries. Okay, so be careful the words that you use around them because once they have hold of them and they start, once they know you know the words, because they already know the words, then they start using them on you. Narcissist so, and boundaries, let me know what you think. What have they done to you? Let me know in the comments. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. Um, if you need coaching, group coaching, or anything like that, please check out the info in the main description of every video. Lots of help there. There's also peer support links there if you need it. 